This is Logitech B170 wireless optical mouse. Today we will disassemble the mouse and we will use a flat head screwdriver as a main tool and we will also be using few other tools as well. Let's see what is there inside the mouse. Now I will disassemble this. First I have to pull out the battery. Now I have to find out the notches or the locks. Here I can see a lock in the uh, uh, battery compartment. I can see this lock. This side I can see another lock. Yes, this is a lock. Correct. And this side I can see another lock. Right. I think there are three locks only. I think those three locks are holding the upper flap and I can see two other holding thing uh, toward the bottom toward the back now I have to push the lock the first lock I'm trying to push it is quite hard All right I think it is working let me see yes the upper flap is coming out yeah now I have to unlock the other notches yes I have to push this lock as well I have to push this lock as well I'm pushing this Yes, it is coming out. It has come out. You can see. I have to push this lock harder, a bit harder, so that the flap comes out properly. Yes, it has come out. We can see two hanger notches here, which holds the flap from the back side of the mouse. You can see there are two groups where these hangers goes in these are the inner part this is a, a rotating wheel this is a rotary switch and these are the clickers these are the clickers this is a rotary switch the rotating wheel connected with the rotary switch and this is the uh, wheel push this is a wheel push now this is the inner circuit we can see a lot of dusts in the mouse we have to clean those dusts first this is the optical sensor this is a invisible optical sensor this is a screw which I have to unscrew to pull out the whole circuit whole board for that I have to use a special head screwdriver a special forehead screwdriver let me choose a head yes this would be the perfect match I believe let me match it yes this is the perfect match for the screw let me fix it yeah now I have to unscrew this screw so that I can pull out the whole circuit and clean it properly and I have to clean the base as well now I can see two notches here which are holding the board firmly with the base now I have to push the these notches aside and pull the board upward and I have to push these notches push these locks and pull the board upward I'm pushing the yes this I'm pushing the lock aside and pulling the board upward now this is a spring part spring part is quite flexible and I have to pull it carefully it is also working as a lock I have to 
push the spring section carefully so that it doesn't bend you have to be quite gentle with the springs it is well locked it is taking some time to come out because it is fixed properly it is firmly locked inside the groove now it has come out now I can pull out the complete board from the shell we can see the different parts the switches the main circuit lot of dots lot of dust here you have to clear all the dust this is the rotating wheel mouse wheel have to clean it properly as well now I have to clean the switches and the rotaries the much I can this is the rotary switch which is basically a variable resistor when you rotate the wheel the value of the root resistor in the rotary gets varied and the action we can see on the screen that is a scrolling action this is actually a rotary variable resistor we vary the value of the resistor with the help of the uh, rotary wheel and we see the effect on the screen as a scrolling effect let me clean the rotary switch as well the rotary resistor as well as well now this is the switch notch switch knob on up switch knob that we find toward the bottom of the mouse it fixes here on this switch knob this is the switch notch on which the knob sits it sits like I'll show you it sits like this and it works like this now I'm reassembling the whole thing now it is fixed in the shell now I have to screw again this one so that the board gets firm attachment to the shell now I have to clean the upper shell as well this is a nice quality plastic now I have to match these grooves with these hangers so that the rear part doesn't come out now I have to push the upper flap upper shell gently into the groove now it is fixed so this was the disassembling and assembling of Logitech B170 digital optical mouse if you like the video please like share and subscribe keep on watching let's talk with chandan see you in the next video 
have nice one